how do I let go of people that I love, but they don't love me back? I know it's hard, but that question is the same reason why you need to let them go. Because they don't love you back. Now, let me tell you something that you do not know. When you give people love and you don't get it back, they will drain you. They will collect everything you have to give and they will leave you. And when they leave you, you become empty and exhausted. Who do you expect to date you? Because everybody is coming into your life based on what you have to give. What do you have to bring to the table? That's the trending question. Every man is asking a woman. Every woman is asking a man. So that's the reason why you need to guard yourself. Once you see that you're giving them love and you're not getting it back, it's enough reason to run. I know it's hard. Let's see you, it's so hard. Let's see you, you don't understand. I love this guy, but I can't get him out of my head. Listen, I love him so much. I can't stop thinking about him. I know. But like I said, that is enough reason why you should let him go. Because when you date people or you marry people that you love and they don't love you, that's the beginning of your mystery. You're going to be a living corpse, walking dead. Now, I'm also going to illustrate something to you. Let me tell you what love is about. Because a lot of you do not even understand the meaning of love. Love is kindness where you choose how to treat people. This thing you call love, 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 love is just how people treat you. And treatment is a choice. I will choose to treat you this way. I will choose to open the door for you. I don't open the door for everybody. But because I love you, I want to treat you specially. Love is prioritizing someone, making your number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. That's the reason why you love your wife, you love your mother, you love your children, you love your sister, you love your colleagues. But what differentiates the love is priority. Which one comes first? Which one comes second? Which one comes third? And priority simply depends on how you treat people. How do you get people to prioritize you? You earn it. People prioritize you when you have value. The reason why it's so difficult for your husbands, for your boyfriends, for your friends to prioritize is because a lot of you do not have value. When you do not have value, it's so easy to forget you. No matter how beautiful you are, no matter how your bum bum is, no matter how cute you are, it's so easy forget people to forget people who do not have impact in our lives. So when you fall in love with people, instead of struggling, you stay there and see how you can leave footprints. It's called value. What can you add to this person's life? It's not physical. It's an addition. When you are not there, what are they going to miss about you? What did you add that they will say, ah, if this person was not here, oh, that's value. You do not have value. That thing many of you are calling love, that thing you're calling love is not love. Some of you think that you are in love with people because you're seeking for validation. It is only when you are seeking for validation, that's when people can be giving you nonsense and you're taking it. But when you have value, you can't take nonsense. When you have value, you will not even go to where you're not wanted. It is value that makes you to respect yourself. It is value that makes you to go to the places that they did not... That, that, it is value that makes you avoid going to the places that they did not invite you to. It is when you don't have value, that's when they will be insulting you and you'll be going there. But when you have value, you will learn how to respect yourself. So many of you who actually think that you are in love with people and they don't love you back is because you don't have value. Yes, you don't. You don't have self-respect. Because when you have self-respect, you would always look inward when you give people love and they don't give you back, you just take a walk. You don't even need to be angry. You just take a walk. Because not everybody's going to like tea. Not everybody's going to like coffee. Because you don't like coffee doesn't mean that coffee is not going to exist. When somebody tells you no, another person is going to tell you yes. And what is going to make you let go of that person that told you no is because you know you have value. Somebody else is going to come around that is going to love your person, like that's going to worship the ground that you walk on. So please, stop punishing yourself. Stop debasing yourself in the name of, I love him. He doesn't love me. I love her. She doesn't love me. No, that thing you're seeking for is validation. A lot of you do not have self-worth. A lot of you have complex issues. You are waiting for a man to tell you you're beautiful. You're waiting for a woman to tell you you're cute. If people don't tell you, you don't believe. You have a mirror. That's why you have eyes and that's why you can see. Look yourself in the mirror and start from yourself. This self-beauty, it's very, very important. When you look inward, 
It is what you see inside that you reflect outside. You don't have to wait for people to validate you. I have told you this couple of times. People want to know you. They don't know you. When they see you, they want to know you. Who are you? It's called identity. Some of you don't have an identity. It's when you don't have an identity, that's where somebody will be, be abusing you. And you cannot even go. You need to go back and find out who you are. Because if you don't find out who you are, you will always be on, under people's shadow. Some of you are just behind the man. If they don't see the man, they cannot see you. You were not created with the man. If they don't see the woman, they cannot see. You were not created with the woman. You need to go back. Inward is very, very powerful. Some of you have not taken time to look at your inward power. You are just jumping up and down, looking for who is going to validate you, who is going to love you, who is going to help you. Nobody will. Because everybody that gets to meet you wants to know you. What is your definition? Who are you? If you are supposed to be asked today, who are you? What are you going to say? Absolutely nothing. You don't even know who you are. What do you want the man to come and love? What do you want the woman to come and love? When they come close to you and they see that you are a nobody, they will impose themselves on you. That's how you see a lot of people become so forceful. If you don't do this thing, they are angry. You don't love me. They want to impose themselves on you. That's how your voice gets so low. And that's how they shut you up. It's because you don't have an identity. You don't love me. You don't love me. Okay, teach me how to love you. Some of you don't even know how to love yourself. How do you teach people who love you so much when they don't even know how to love you right? It's time to go back to the drawing board and stop going to places you're not wanted. Most of those things that you call love is not love. It's infatuation. It's validation. It's help. You're just looking for survival. You're looking for someone that will help you. You're looking for someone that will tell you you are beautiful. You know you're beautiful. But if you don't hear you're beautiful from a man, you're not okay. You're not satisfied. That's a no. Go back to the drawing board, especially the women. You don't need anybody to validate you. You need to start from yourself. It is who you tell a man you are. That's who he's going to take you for. Apart from telling him who you are, you need to show it. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. I've said this in one of my videos before. The difference between you and I is effort. You're looking at me right now in this video. You're probably looking at my hair and my makeup and saying, Blessing, you look so beautiful in this video. It's effort. It took me over two hours to be able to put this together. Effort. Time. Energy. It is effort that people call packaging. Packaging is time. If you want something to be beautiful, you're going to take time to package it. And for you to package yourself, you must first of all appreciate yourself. Packaging is more like enhancement. You know you're beautiful. That's the reason why you even want to look more beautiful by buying an expensive hair to wear, putting a very beautiful lashes and wearing a very good makeup. If you don't appreciate yourself, you can't even do all those things. That's the reason why you envy another woman. You envy other women because you don't put in effort in yourself. You just sit down. Ah, this girl, I know. Where should they get money from? You just die of envy. Look inward. You are going to see how beautiful you are when you begin to put in work in yourself. Some of you don't put in work in yourself. You put in work in a man. Your job is to put in work in another person. You put in work in a woman. You don't take care of yourself. That's the reason why you are so bitter. And that's the reason why when these people walk out of your life, when the man leaves, when the woman leaves, you are shattered. It's time to go back to the drawing board. It is you. You are the prize. You are the power. If they leave you, another person will still come for you. So don't lose you. Okay? You are the prize. You are the power. Anytime they go, another person will still come for you. So take care of yourself. Okay? I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the link. And I'm going to bring in you guys more relationship and marriage to talk. You know I got you, right? And I love you guys very much. Come. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>